The Scheme Perth Nimbus 4 is a family of high-performance Phi Open class gliders designed by Klaus Holleihaus and manufactured by Scheme Perth Flugzubi GmbH in Kirchheim, Germany. The Nimbus 4 first flew in 1990. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Design and Development. The Nimbus 4 family is a direct derivative of its predecessors at the highest performance end of the Scheme Perth product range, the Nimbus 2 and Nimbus 3. In total as of 2010, 44 single-seat and 102-seat models have been produced. The wing taper varies along the span, which is increased to 26.5 meters. The aspect ratio is 38.8. The fuselage is also lengthened and a larger rudder fitted. The manufacturer claims this glider has a glide ratio of better than 60 to 1 at a best glide airspeed of 110 km per hour 59 knots, meaning it can glide over 60 km on course for every 1,000 m of altitude lost in still air. There is a two-seat version, the 4D, and motor glider versions with either turbo engines designation T or self-launching engines designation M. Topic. Nimbus minus four German marks. The Nimbus minus four German marks is typical of the Nimbus four design, except for variations in cockpit and power plant configuration and associated operating limitations. It is a two-seat, high-performance motorized glider, constructed from fiber-reinforced plastic (FRP) composites, featuring full-span flight controls and AT tail with fixed horizontal stabilizer and two-piece elevator. The manufacturing process uses a hand layup of composite material pliers and epoxy resins. The wing's 26.5 meter (87 foot) span consists of three sections per side, consisting of a wing tip, outboard section, and inboard section. The inboard sections mate at the fuselage, and the outer wing sections mate with the inboard sections approximately 12.6 feet outboard of the fuselage root cord. The wing shells are a carbon fiber, foam core sandwich construction with one main spar constructed of a glass fiber, foam core shear web, and carbon fiber spar flanges. A single vane flap spans the entire inboard wing section. Three sections of ailerons that is, inboard, center, and outboard span the outboard wing section with a fourth aileron, used to minimize the effects of adverse yaw, attached to the wing tip. The forward fuselage cockpit is constructed of Kevlar, carbon and glass fiber laminate, reinforced by a double skin on the sides with integrated surrounding canopy frame and seat pan mounting flanges. The single-piece canopy hinges sideways and opens to the right. The AFT fuselage section is constructed of a pure carbon fiber monolithic shell, stiffened by carbon fiber, foam core bulkheads and glass fiber webs. The horizontal stabilizer is constructed of glass fiber, foam core sandwich with carbon fiber reinforcements. The elevator halves are a hybrid composite carbon and glass fiber monolithic shell. The vertical stabilizer is carbon fiber, foam core sandwich construction. The single piece rudder is constructed of glass fiber, foam core sandwich. The flight controls are all push, pull tubes except for the rudder, which is controlled via cables. The Nimbus minus four German Marx is powered by a liquid-cooled 44 kW Bombardier Rotax 535C engine with a 3 to 1 belt reduction drive. The power plant is housed in the fuselage immediately AFT of the wing. An electrically driven spindle drive jack screw extends the propeller pylon upwards and forward from the engine bay. When stowed, two doors mounted to the rear fuselage conceal the power plant. The jack screw is attached between the airframe and the upper forward end of the pylon such that when the jack screw is retracted shortened, the pylon is pulled upwards and forward into its flight position. A four German Marx holds the world record for speed over a 500 km course 306.8 km per hour 190.6 miles per hour which is in excess of its VNE. It was flown by Klaus Altmann and Meishas Garcia Mazzaro on the 22nd of December 2006. Topic. Accident history U.S. National Transportation Safety Board NTSB investigators queried the German Luftfahrtbundesamt LBA, Germany's equivalent of the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration FAA regarding the accident history of the Nimbus-4 German marks in conjunction with a 1999 accident near Minden, Nevada where both occupants of the aircraft were killed. In this accident, the glider broke up in flight during the recovery phase after a departure from controlled flight while maneuvering in thermal lift conditions. Airborne witnesses in other gliders who saw the beginning of the accident sequence said the glider was in a tight turn, as if climbing in a thermal, when it entered a spiral. With a 45-degree nose-down attitude, the speed quickly built up as the glider completed two full rotations. 
The rotation then stopped, the flight stabilized on a northeasterly heading, and the nose pitched further down to a near vertical attitude. This is consistent with the spin recovery technique specified in the Aircraft Flight Manual AFM. The glider was observed to level its attitude, with the wings bending upward and the wingtips coning higher. When the outboard wingtip panels separated from the glider, the wings disintegrated, and the fuselage dived into the ground. Several witnesses estimated that the wing deflection reached 45 degrees or more before the wings failed. Examination of the wreckage disclosed that the left and right outboard wing sections failed symmetrically at two locations. In this case, the NTSB determined that the probable cause of this accident was the pilot's excessive use of the elevator control during recovery from an inadvertently entered spin and or spiral dive during which the glider exceeded the maximum permissible speed, which resulted in the overload failure of the wings at loadings beyond the structure's ultimate design loads. There were then only three previous accidents worldwide on file with the Federal Bureau of Aircraft Accidents Investigation BFU, Germany's equivalent of the NTSB. The first was a non-injury long landing accident in Fayence, France, on 4 September 1994. The second involved a collision with the ground during takeoff in Fuentembolanos, Spain, on 27 July 1997, which resulted in two fatalities. The improper installation of the horizontal stabilizer led to the third accident in Luss, Germany, on 13 June 1999, in which two occupants were injured during an attempted takeoff when the stabilizer separated from the empennage just after liftoff. Regarding other service, accident experience with the Nimbus 4 family of gliders, the BFU has recorded four incidents, accidents with the single-seat versions. Three events are known of non-injury accidents during off-field landings, and one fatal accident was due to collision with a mountain. Additionally, during training for the World Gliding Championships in New Zealand in 1995, a Nimbus 4 owned by the French Air Force was destroyed in a mid-air breakup accident. The glider entered a wave cloud, lost control, and broke up at a speed beyond 400 km per hour the never exceed speed, or VNE, is 285 km per hour, and the design dive speed, or VD, is 324 km per hour. The pilot survived by bailing out. According to the LBA, as far as we know, none of the incidents, accidents recorded indicated a technical failure. NTSB investigators became aware of another accident involving a Nimbus-4 German marks that occurred in Spain shortly after the Minden, Nevada, accident. According to the Commission de Investigación de Accidents y Incidents de Aviación Civil, Spain's equivalent of the NTSB, the glider broke up in flight following a high-speed excursion beyond VNE. According to preliminary information supplied by the Spanish authorities, the pilot stated they were in a turn when a heavy thermal caused the glider to enter a steep descending spiral. The pilot could not recover the aircraft from the spiral and the airspeed quickly exceeded VNE. The pilot then reported that the right wing failed and he bailed out. <laughs> <laughs> Joint Airworthiness Requirements Certification The LBA issued Type Certificate No. 868 on of July 1995, certificating the Nimbus-4 German Marx glider in the standard class, utility category. The certification basis listed on the Type Certificate is Joint Airworthiness Requirements 22 for sailplanes and powered sailplanes, effective 27 June 1989, inclusive of Change 4 and Amendments 22, 90 over 1, 22, 91 over 1, and 22, 92 over 1. Exemptions to the JARS on the type certificate included 22.201 F 5 II, 22.153, 22.173 B, 22.175 A, and 22.207 A. A special compliance was established on the basis of an equivalent level of safety with JAR 22.1093 B. Topic: Variants. <inaudible> 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 The Nimbus-4 German Marx is a model of the Nimbus-4 family, which consists of single-seat and two-seat gliders and motorgliders. The different models are, production data as of 1999. Nimbus-4, a single-seat glider, type certified in Germany January 1, 1994. Total number produced, 11. Nimbus 4T, a single-seat self-sustaining motor glider with a retractable engine, type certified in Germany June 15, 1993. Total number produced, 12. Nimbus 4M, a single-seat self-launching motor glider with a retractable engine, type certified in Germany January 1, 1994. Total number produced, 10. Nimbus 4D, a two-seat glider, type certified in Germany February 24, 1995. 
Total number produced, 9. Nimbus 4DT, a two-seat self-sustaining motor glider with a retractable engine, type certified in Germany May 5, 1995. Total number produced, 6. Nimbus minus four German marks, a two-seat self-launching motor glider with a retractable engine, type certified in Germany November 7, 1995. Total number produced, 37. Nimbus 4DL, a two-seat guide with extended fuselage for tall people. Nimbus 4DLT, a two-seat self-sustaining motor glider with extended fuselage for tall people and a retractable engine. Nimbus 4DLM, a two-seat self-launching motor glider with extended fuselage for tall people and a retractable engine. Topic. Specifications Four German marks unless otherwise specified. Data from general characteristics Crew, one or two in type D. Variants only Length, 7.83 m Wingspan, 26.5 m Wing area, 17.86 square meters, 192.24 Aspect ratio 38.8 Empty weight 595 kilograms 1312 pounds Gross weight 820 kilograms 1808 pounds Power plant in type M variants only 1 times Rotax 535C 33 kilowatts 44 horsepower each in type T variants only 1 times Solo 2350 19.6 kilowatts 26.3 horsepower each performance maximum speed 285 kilometers per hour 177 miles per hour cruising speed 142 kilometers per hour 88 miles per hour maximum glide ratio 60 to 1 rate of sink 0 38 meters per second 75 feet per minute armament <laughs>